New patch notes have just dropped for Black Clover Mobile. I'm sorry there hasn't been a video for Black Clover in like a week on this channel. To be completely honest, there's not much. You know, the game is pretty dead. This season has been pr pretty dead. Uh, th they accidentally dropped some content yesterday, so that was good. But generally speaking, the season has pr been pretty dead, especially for videos. The videos aren't too exciting. Let's start from the bottom of the patch notes. I know it's odd, but it's the thing that I'm more interested in. So, they are buffing already some characters. Nozel and Fugurion were a combo attack that was a little bit utilized in PvP for a, little, a very little while. It was, a, it was like a weak type thing. And it got instantly power crept. Things are getting power crept very fast right now, by the way. Licked was a power creep. Licked plus Raya was a power creep because their combo attack was very, very strong. It was especially a power creep on Nozel and Fugodion because their their combo attack was pretty good. And but you kind of needed to be a whale to be able to use this. You Nozel was only a good unit if you had him in max dupes. Same for Fugodion, but less than Nozelle. And the thing is that Raya and Licked are way better. Just way better. And so when Raya came out, no one <laughs> used Nozelle and forgot it anymore. They kind of suck. And now, freaking God Awful Noelle came out. I mean God Awful for the game, not because she's God Awful. She's just way too OP. There's not a single team in PvP that's not using uh, Noelle. And Noel has a chokehold in every character in this game, regardless of their element. There's no character in the game that can deal with Noel. Only other Noels can deal with Noel. And uh, it's unfortunate. But they're buffing already this Nozel and Fugodion combo, which I guess was supposed to be much stronger. They're essentially just buffing the amount of Ignites it applies from the Fugodion side and the neutralization. I don't know exactly what it does. Application rate has gone up from 40 to 65%. And the multipliers have gone up significantly at the max level, which if you're seriously trying to use this, you should use it at max level. It goes from 60 magic attack and 60 regular attack to 80. It's a huge jump. Huge jump. So the combo should be much stronger. I hope they keep doing this because the wave of power creep has been very fast. Very, very fast. It felt like... I mean, Fogodion was already a character that was pretty mid at launch. And then Licked came out, and then Raya came out, and it was like, my god, poor Fogodion. Nozel, same thing. From launch, it felt like he wasn't couldn't really compete to blue characters, because blue already had a very great synergy between William, Mars, Lotus, and Yami. Blue Yami. Also Red Yami as well, but, but mainly Blue Yami. And then, you know, I mean, right now it doesn't matter. No, nothing matters. Noel matters. Nothing matters except Noel right now. So it, it is what it is. But hopefully maybe this combo can do some damage some damage to Noel. And... Oh, interesting. Swimsuit Noel change. Improved AI to designate skill healing buff target at a target with the highest sum of attack power. And, wow. No, this is awful. <laughs> You know, one great thing that I found while facing no else that you can trick the enemy AI is that if you do damage to a weaker enemy, the skill healing effect, which applies the counters, is applied to that enemy with the lowest HP so that it can help that enemy by having two shields and the heal. But it seems like they're changing it to actually make it apply to herself every single time. I'm not going to play PvP anymore. I'm seriously not going to play PvP anymore. This is awful. My god. <laughs> this is awful. I don't want to play against this. Goj. Goj is alright. Some people, some people use Goj. It's just... It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. What matters is you need to let Noel do stuff. If you if you make when you make a team, you make the team to make Noel do stuff. Maybe in the future when Noel is not as important, Goish can do something. But William is good right now because you give counters to Noel. Uh, 
the speed boost characters are good because you make Noel fast. Freaking the the doctor lady with the lab coat is good because she boosts Noel. Any and every character right now in this current meta is only good because Noel. Mar Mars is good because he you can make a combo attack with her that makes her attack her AOE and then Mars goes in, does his AOE as well and has a chance to stun. Rill is good because you can stun Noels from the enemy team so they don't destroy you. Any and every character in this current meta is only function is to make Noel look good or be good or, or like deal with other Noels. Horrible meta. <laughs> Horrible. Uh, okay, let's go back up. So, what they're adding for this update on July 13th is uh, we're getting compensation for just existing. Six hour maintenance, by the way. Chapter, probably going to be 16 hours, actually, with how it's been. Chapter 5 is being added. Chapter 5, cool. Patrol stages are always good because if there's a patrol stage, I'm assuming there's going to be a shop. These shops are great. If you level up the patrol, you actually unlock the ability to buy skill upgrade materials so every every like 21 days you can buy a good amount of them so it's pretty good more patrol stages the better um you still need to farm the actual currency for these individual worlds but it seems like it, you can farm enough if you just skip ticket the the crystal stage so it's pretty nice they're adding kahono and kyado i'll talk about their kits in a second and also this sr uh, to be honest i don't think I mean, I'll take a look if the, le the leaks are there. Uh, they don't have their actual kit in this patch note, because why would they? The leaks are probably very accurate, considering previous leaks we've had. So I'm just going to go off of them. If there is anything changed, it's probably going to be very minor. Uh, obviously, so there's going to be two separate banners, because why wouldn't it be? There's more packs to buy, of course. <laughs> If you link your account, you get 500 crystals. Dear Lord, please link your account. This goes for any and every game. If you if you play a game consistently and you don't link your account with like Google Play or Facebook, if you have a Facebook, whatever, right? You're you're doing a disservice because if you break your phone or something, you're just gonna lose your account. And I'll be honest, the account is more worth than the phone. So. Uh, new events, probably going to be minor rewards. We've had a few events, like, it's like a wheel type thing, and a dice type thing, where you just randomly get rewards. It's neat. The rewards are good, though, so I'll take it. Uh, the rewards are good. The rewards are only good, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this. The rewards for these events are good, because nothing in this game rewards you at all. So, these events are good because of that. It's the only place that gives you anything. So th this is right, right here. They accidentally added these two bosses into the game yesterday. These nice men running this game, men and women, that's not discriminating, people, accidentally added these activities that were supposed to come out next patch into the game. So that's good. I mean, it was, man, I had nothing to do because farming the game is, is unrewarding. At least I had something to do yesterday. So yeah, this this thing. I mean, it's like if you play the Noel event, it's the Noel event. It's you you auto it, and it's all right. Like the rewards are okay. The reward this event in particular. So the the Noel event that we had last time, the only reason for it to exist is because you get the upgrade materials for you to make your characters from SSR to UR, and that's cool. It's not that many though. And that, uh, that's it, because you auto these events every day, they give you jack shit. So, this one's good though, this boss is returning. I'm assuming they are only returning this boss because the other boss that's currently in the game, the blue version of this one, got such terrible reception that they were probably like, shit, <laughs> I'm going to bring back the other one. Um, yeah, it was accidental, so the shop is not in the game yet. I'm going to assume, man, let me actually check. The, the game has had its daily reset. I'm going to check if they added the shop in the game already. But they accidentally added this yesterday. And the boss rewards seem to be the same as last time, where it was actually really good. You had skill upgrade materials, you had 
uh, dupe, dupe stones, mainly dupe stones, true dupe stones. I don't know if this time it's going to be true as well. I'm assuming it's going to be one. So it was great. And then they added the new boss, which is just a blue version of this guy. And the reward sucked, so we were like very confused. The reward sucked tremendously. So hopefully if they're going to cycle, um, you know, maybe if you only have this mo this boss every two months, I still take it. Two dupes, uh, two dupe stones every two months, plus the one for, that we get from the monthly mission. That's pretty good still. That's really good. So I'll I'll take it regardless. Um, was it in two ends? This one, coins are reset. All right. In season three. A new giant boss in exchange will appear. Okay, so there's going to be even a newer one. All right. It's probably going to be gray. So it's probably going to be a blue, red, and gray one. And they're going to cycle them. That sounds interesting. The, this banner is going to leave. So if you're currently playing the game, which you're probably not, but if you're currently playing the game, make sure to get Noel. Get, make sure to max duper. Like, and if you play global, when Noel comes out, get her max duped. So skip every banner. I'm telling you, like, Oh my god, but I'm gonna lose in PvP if I don't have X character. First of all, if you have the seasonal characters, you can... I got top 50 in PvP with the banner characters and blue Yami. You don't need to summon for Red Yami or for Goldion. I'm assuming they're not even gonna be banners on Global anyways. You don't need to summon for Lict, you don't need to summon for Raya, you don't need to, you don't need to summon for anyone. Only the first seasonal banner. And then save for the second seasonal banner. Get four copies of Noel. I bless your heart. I bless your luck. And then get one for free. Don't even bother getting the other characters. Noel is just, it's just that good. Like, Noel is so much better than every single character in the game. It's embarrassing. So, let's see. <laughs> they're leaving. They're going to be in the normal summon banner until the season is done. Which is going to be done on the 31st. So, so this, is go this boss is going to leave the 31st as well. Okay. Uh, we're going to be getting season 3. So the ba the battle pass, the Hall of Illusion, everything leaves. They're changing limited stages. They're well, for one limited stage. For <laughs> which one? <laughs> okay, clear reward drastically incre increased, of course. But rewards in this game, in general, need to increase. The game is just so unrewarding. The Week to week progression in this game is none. Increased consumption action. They're gonna take more stamina, all right. Existing initialize clear information upon reopening, change to batch opening difficulty level. Whatever the hell that's me that means. Repeat battle improvements. Prove so that defeat is not counted in the number. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Uh, the the boss, this red boss, now is going to have a 7th difficulty. The six dif I think they lowered difficulty on the boss. I noticed that the 6th difficulty last time around was really hard. And then this time, it's not as hard. My gear has not been better. <laughs> it's just, which is sad. But true, because gear is so impossible to get. My gear is not that much better than last time. And it's so much easier this time. So, they have definitely lowered the difficulty. So I'm assuming 7 will be the, the equivalent of what 6 was last time. They're just going to increase the rewards. I assume. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't work for the game. Not yet. We'll, we'll work on that. Alright, let's talk about uh, the characters. I know I, I, I left it to the end, but still. Uh, because honestly, I don't think anyone should summon for them. Not because they're bad. I don't even know what they do, actually. I just think summoning for these regular banners is not worth it. When seasonal characters are going to be this good, Asta... Blue Yami and Noel, not Noel, what's her, Mimosa, were so much better than every other character in the game apart from, apart from Lotus. It's like, why would you even summon for regular banners? Red Yami was good, but he was comparable to Blue Yami, which is like, at that point, you might as well summon for the banner that has three characters instead of just one. You know what I mean? Summoning for a seasonal banner is just so much better. Unless next seasonal banner actually has garbage characters, which I highly doubt. So... Uh, let's talk. Let's see first. Kyoto. If you have so this, that's our S three because the one that matters actually the most. His special is if you have X or more buffs, your attack is a critical hit. That's nice, guaranteed crit. At, attack after applying accuracy increase buff effect for each buff granted on you. So is is she a buffer? 
sends a wave of uh, grants endurance increase buff effect to all. Oh, I can barely see it. Grants endurance increase buff effect to allies for X turns. Okay. Chance to apply and remove X, bur X burns? I hope this has changed. So these leaks are somewhat accurate, not 100% from BCM leaks. They've been pretty accurate, but some little things change. I hope this has changed to any debuff, because burns are so specific. Burns are so specific. Um, if you have a skill tree, if you have a buffing effect, apply damage increase um, buffing before attacking. Pretty standard. If you have buffing effect, apply damage increase. Okay. Is it AoE? Single enemy. All enemies. S2 is AoE. The special is single target. Special is single target. Okay. Single target guaranteed crit, though. Passive. Applies Exciting Dance if you receive buffing effect. Exciting Dance is increase endurance, increases block effect. Ooh. Okay. So this, the the Kahono, she's a healer, by the way. And Kyado is an attacker. Another green attacker? My god. Can blue get an attacker? <laughs> My god. Uh... Actually, mm, we did get Fauna, and Fauna is pretty good. Ah, eh, still. Another green attacker, okay. Uh, he, so she applies the Endurance effect, and he also applies Endurance. So that's pretty interesting, because in, in, Endurance is pretty good. Mars is, in, is supremely tanky because of Endurance, so that this could be pretty interesting. When obtaining X exciting dance moves, grant idle debut imminent effect for X turns. Idle uh, debut is in, in, increased endurance, increased block, and, and increased damage. His awakening passive, which is the one that he gets with dupes, damage increase. Okay. This could be interesting. Uh, partner skill. He has a partner skill with Kahono. Attacks after applying. Weapon enhancement strengthening to yourself. If you have enhanced effect apl after applying, then re reinforcing effect. Grew more passive when attacking. Attack after applying critical damage increase. Okay. So for her, her passive is increased max health, increases healing done. But she only heals on S1. That's like the same heal as Mimosa. Oh no. So, oh no, she heals with Astro as well. So he heals all allies and then applies the buff removal. Okay. Then her partner skill inflicts damage on enemies, grants barrier based on magic. Grants healing run increase buff to all allies. Oh, so okay, it's another type of thing where you really want to do the combo. See, combos are cool. Raya and Lict's combo was an interesting thing. It's very strong. Nozelle and and Fire Guy combo is pretty cool as well. I don't think every character should be released with combos, though. I feel like a lot of these characters are being dropped with the combos in mind. But you see a character like Noel that doesn't need combos at all. What would you prefer? Having a character that can act on their own and do way better <laughs> than characters that need combos? Or would you want to really use characters that do need combos? He's green, so automatically he's garbage. I'm just going to say how it is. He's green, so he's automatically garbage. How are you going to play with him when Noel exists? Just, I'm going to tell you straight up. She's blue, so she might survive, but still. So, I wouldn't recommend summoning. But, I won't summon. Uh, yeah, that's the update. Some increase... See, incre the increased drop rates for the limited things. In they need a patch to increase drops on regular stuff. My god.